Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Um, today we are going to talk about some different things in Logic Pro that apply mainly to beginners. So if we were to look at our Logic Pro screen here, um, I want to talk about uh, the Apple Drummer, which is kind of cool. So if you add a track here and you select Drummer, which is this option here, you can pick a genre of drummer. We'll go ahead and say hip hop and then create. And what you have just done is like hiring a drummer to come and play for you on your track, which is really kind of cool thing to be able to do. So this drummer's name is Dez, and there are medium diff many different drummers that you can choose from over here in different genres, but I'm gonna stick with Dez as a the trap drummer. And this little screen down here pops up. And if for some reason you don't see that screen, then you can click your scissors over here to be able to bring this edit screen up. Well, one thing that I want to do is I want to shorten this phrase from eight measures to four measures. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the bottom corner and I'm shortening it from eight measures to four measures. And all that's doing is giving me a shorter chunk to work with. If I wanted to add on more chunks, I could just hit this plus button and there comes another chunk. So that's an eight measure chunk. This is a four measure chunk. Well, right now they're the same exact thing except for the drum fill at the end, which is something the Apple Automatic Drummer is providing you is this uh, ability to flow from one phrase to another. But what I want to do, well, let's just listen to this first so you get an idea of it. And then they're right back into the groove for the duration of that. Well, if I want the song to build in intensity as I go, then I can actually manipulate what this drummer does using this X, Y axis here. With this side being simple to complex, this pie being soft to loud. So this is a very loud, mostly complex beat that we've got right here. But if I pull this back to here, you'll notice that there's a lot of notes that left, so it's a lot simpler, and the note hits are smaller. So now we've got this groove. And then it built in complexity as it came into this phrase. And the two phrases don't have to be the exact same thing. You can put the yellow dot wherever you want to. There are also different um, sub-genres, I guess you could say, within each beat or beat presets. Um, so maybe you want to go to this south side beat on this one. And then maybe you're like, hey, I really don't want to hear that much snare drum in that version. So you take the snare drum out of it. Maybe I want some more fills. And it inserted that little fill in the middle. So all sorts of different things that you are capable of doing here with the Apple Automatic Drummer. And all that you need to do is make sure you use the plus button here to add new phrases as opposed to using the looping tool like you may have done before. And that ties everything to be the same. So you don't necessarily want everything to be the exact same to keep your song more interesting. So you should use the plus tool here instead of using the loop region. So with your Apple drummer, you can set that up and build out for the phrases of your song so that you have drum links that make sense with the phrases that you're making and turn those around and uh, have little fills and everything automatically made to keep your song more interesting. I hope this helps you better understand how to go about making uh, drum beats with the Apple Automatic Drummer. <laughs> 